this is the J Robot project. Quick summary of the J Robot project. First of all, this is an Android project. We just add four wheels to the Android phone and make it truly mobile. This is also an Arduino project because we rely on Arduino heavily on the controller and on the car to bundle up other functions and modules. As a result, we end up with a control device with unlimited range, what we call is global control. After you play with this for a little while, you realize that it is more fun than other computer games because you are controlling a real vehicle in a real environment. Get the J-Robot system before we go into the action. The whole J-Robot system is made of two sides and uh, four components. On the controller side, we have a ceiling wheel and the computer. They are connected using USB. On the robot side, we have a phone and the car. They are connected using Bluetooth. Ceiling wheel is just a Arduino board and with two ports. And the computer runs a program, Java program called J-Control. The Android phone utilizing the onboard functions like cameras, GPS, lights, etc. and running an Android application called J-Robot. On the car, it's an Arduino board again, bundling all other functions like the motor, compass, ultrasound, and light, etc. And the most interesting part of the project is the connection between the controller and the robot. Two options here, 4G and Wi-Fi. If you use 4G, you achieve the global control, as we said, with unlimited range. This is how we start the robot. On the controller side, we have the computer and the ceiling wheel plugged into USB. On the computer, we run a program called J-Control. It shows the front camera in the center and back camera on right hand side. Below is the map for GPS and the pointer for compass and also shows other readings from the robot car. Down below there's a few buttons control the other functions on board the car. So on the controller side we just need to start the control and controller is waiting, it's ready for the Joe robot to come in. Outside, we have the car and Android phone. So, firstly, we open the circuit board box and uh, turn on the power. And then you can see the light start flashing. And on the Android phone, we run this application called J Robot. Basically, you just need to make sure you have the correct IP address for the controller and press the start button. And what we need to do now is to put the phone in this uh, phone box. That's all you can see the phone is nicely sit inside this phone box. And if we go back to the com controller, you start to see the image coming from the camera. So that means it's connected and work okay. And if you start the control, you see the car start to move. It's on a steering wheel, one is the power level, one is the turn, goes left and right.
they are coming into the grass playground. The cardboard is fairly steady and can handle different low, low situations. Climbs okay, and it handles slopes and uneven roads fairly well. We did a circle and going back to the concrete paper. So as we said. This is a interesting vehicle because if you put it on 4G mobile network, it truly goes anywhere, any distance away from you. This session shows the actions of the indoor car from both the car view and the controller view. This is the j Rubber project. I've done this video just to document the project progress so far. Also find this is an interesting device and maybe fun to watch for some of our viewers. And who knows, it may lead me to other opportunities in the future. So if you share the same interest as mine, you're welcome to contact me by email. Thank you for watching. Bye.